Well, we selected 10 students, five students from interior architecture, which is my discipline, and five students from product design. We threw them together into five pairs, and we had a very challenging brief, and that had to do with what can the living room of the future look like, and how can we incorporate new technologies to bring people together. And what we found was that students that are of a digital generation, they lament a loss of family time. So they were looking at new technologies and devices that could attract the family to spend more time together. The students did a fantastic work. Basically, they've come up with, with, the, with all these ideas, presented it for us, and we gave them some feedback of their work from an IKEA way of seeing it. Get their view of how to make a home smarter, I think it's uh, really refreshing and inspiring. Yeah. I learn from them and hopefully they learn from us at the same time because when you are a student you are there to, to, to be taught something and uh, what we talked about was actually the democratic design and how you could use that in your design process. So that was the thing that we brought to them. They brought some new ideas and you know, I would say uh, ways of thinking around their lives which I haven't thought of before. I think for me what I learned from Marcus the most was the understanding of what is expected in industry and just how fast paced it is and also kind of understanding what kind of flexibility you need to have in order to kind of continue designing and continue making relevant products. And I think it's really nice now the shift of the culture within design because obviously it's such a competitive industry now but part of IKEA's whole business concept is to be accessible and for us to have access to someone like Marcus who's so knowledgeable. That sort of anticipation of um, experience is really, really exciting so we have an amazing resource for us to work with which is really cool.